No touch of gloves there. Oh, I was expecting a wee touch of respect, as was uh, Jimmy, but it didn't happen. That's all right. They can respect each other with their fists in just a moment, and we are underway. 10-9 in psychological warfare goes to Dido straight away. Lands that hook nicely. Just stayed out of range at the right, and then found the jaw. Oh, beautiful blitz from Keelan. Timed it very well and landed that straight right. And Bruce, we often say that this kind of grappling against the cage is the most debilitating, draining aspect of mixed martial arts. And people don't necessarily realize what's going on. Talk to me about just how much work is being put in here by both men. Both men, the guy get with his, his back against the cage or he needs to work around. We, mm. we harp on about a C grip to try to transition away from that wall. When you're pinned up against the wall, it's real hard work and it's draining. Uh, guy pushing you against the wall, he just needs to keep a strong position. Strong position and so there was a there was a knee to the head that landed. It looked like it is Dowda briefly, but he is rebounded with ferocity and he's looking at a finish there. The referee was having a look. But some movement from Jimmy McDonough has allowed him to stay safe a little bit longer. He's still in there now, trying to work his hips out from under side knot. Dowda almost disdainful in his approach after that exchange. Couldn't quite see from the commentary just position if it was that he was just sparked a little bit or was a potential eye poke or something like that either way the fight is still going and now it is all Dowdle and right. as I say that great awareness to ride out the takedown attempt from the Santa Academy of Champions man great drive there into that reversal and now just taking a little bit of the sting out of the fight right now, solidifying position before submission as Dido. Jimmy doing the right things here, Bruce. He's trying to get up in the elbow, trying to have that as his initial post and then pop up on the hand. Yeah, he's working it. He will work away at it. Now again, positional stuff. Can't quite see if double underhooks have been established here by Dido. Are we talking 50-50? Trip takedown. And what he did so intelligently there, Mark, was bring it into the open forum of the mat as opposed to against the cage. He, he's, he's going off a little bit early, is doubt on now. He smelled blood earlier in the round when he almost got a stoppage, and I think it's caused him to rush just a little bit. Good timing on the entry into the takedown from McDonough. Doesn't quite complete it, but he knew that... Oh, pulls guard, interesting. Don't have Very to interesting, Bruce. I, I don't know where that came from, but... Needs to work on position again. They're very difficult when you pull guard and you end up in the half guard position. You're almost making a little bit of a rod for your own back in that Absolutely. respect. Absolutely. It's a loose half guard as well. I think if Dodo wants to pass, he probably can. But as we're heading into the final seconds, I think he's going to ride out to the end of the round. Kind of, kind of looked like he didn't have a plan from that, from yeah. that pulling guard position, did he? <laughs> I'll make no apologies for that whatsoever. Let's see who the minute in between rounds has been more beneficial for. Nice side kick. Again, no touch of hands here at all. This is no. changed ever so slightly with a little bit of oh, rolling thunder attempt there from Jimmy McDonough. Dowdle threw a hook kick that just missed, and it was almost like that trigger McDonough to do the same thing. He is a wee unorthodox jukebox. Excellent <laughs> right. heavy hips there by Keelum as he's moved back into side mount. McDonough needs to get onto his left hip and turn in towards Dowdle, try and shrimp a little bit, create space for himself and get re-guard there, but hard to do when you've knee on belly. Armbar attempt. Oh. I think McDonough's safe. He needs to be wary of a triangle here. And he reacted immediately to that armbar. Rolled it's immediately with it. It's almost like the armbar in and of itself was the trigger to hit the hitchhiker escape. So the arm is almost over. It is over in the triangle position now. One in, one out. As McDonough tries to correct that. Dowdle doesn't quite have that leg flush across the shoulders for the triangle. Mate switch to the arm bar. Oh, now that looks a lot tighter. Corrected it. This looks tight. The hinge locked in and oh! there's the snap. Made the adjustments to the structure. Once he felt he had a tight change, his angle squeezed. And that resulted in a tap. Excellent win there for Dowdle.